Picture this, a dimly lit room, the hush of anticipation hanging heavy in the air. You sink into your cozy armchair, the flickering light of the television screen casting a soft glow on your eager face. The year is 1978, and a cinematic masterpiece is about to unfold before your eyes. It's your first encounter with interiors, and little do you know, it's about to take you on an emotional roller coaster unlike any other. As the opening credits roll, you're immediately drawn into the world of three sisters, their fractured family dynamics, and the stark interiors that mirror the emotional barrenness within. Each scene feels like a brushstroke on a canvas, meticulously composed and hauntingly beautiful. The film's melancholic tone seeps into your soul, leaving an indelible mark. Perhaps it's the raw performances of the cast or the masterful direction of Woody Allen that lingers in your memory. Or maybe it's that one poignant moment when the camera captures the sisters' silent but profound connection, a moment of understanding that transcends words. Now, let's dive deeper into the enigmatic world of interiors. But before we do, take a moment to reflect on your first encounter with this cinematic gem and the emotions it stirred within you. And now, let's explore some random facts about this timeless classic. Timeless classic. Timeless classic. Interiors, released in 1978 and directed by Woody Allen, is a thought-provoking departure from his usual comedic fare. This introspective drama delves into the intricacies of a dysfunctional upper-class family. The film's somber tone and austere visual style are reminiscent of the works of Ingmar Bergman, a departure from Allen's previous comedic works. The story revolves around the three emotionally estranged sisters, showcasing their complex relationships and individual struggles. Each character embodies a different facet of the human condition, creating a compelling exploration of familial bonds and existential crises. The film's minimalist aesthetics, marked by its muted color palette and meticulous composition, mirror the character's emotional repression. Interiors is a departure from the comedic norm for Woody Allen, but it established his versatility as a filmmaker and demonstrated his ability to tackle profound and emotionally charged narratives. Its impact on popular culture lies in its role as a catalyst for Allen's exploration of darker themes in subsequent films, broadening his cinematic repertoire and solidifying his legacy as a filmmaker who could master both comedy and drama. He in drama. He in drama. In 1978, Woody Allen released a film that would mark a departure from his usual comedic fare. Interiors, a stark and introspective drama, made waves in the film industry for several reasons. Firstly, it was a departure for Allen himself. Interiors marked the first film in his career as a director in which he did not also appear on screen a notable shift for the prolific filmmaker known for his on-camera presence. Secondly, the film's inception was influenced by the work of Russian playwright Anton Chekhov. In Eric Lack's biography of Woody Allen, the director himself revealed, take the last speech in the Russian Uncle Vanya. It's extremely poetical, and nobody talks like that, really. Yet, that's how I was trying to write in those dramas. After I saw it, with Diane Keaton, it became a very important film in my life. Despite Allen's reverence for the film, he noted that it remained relatively obscure, even among his peers in the film industry and New York's cultural elite. Lastly, the role of Eve in interiors was originally conceived with legendary actress Ingrid Bergman in mind. Allen offered her the part, but due to prior commitments shooting Autumn Sonata in Norway with director Ingmar Bergman, she had to regretfully decline. The role ultimately went to Geraldine Page. Ironically, both Page and Bergman received Academy Award and Golden Globe nominations for their respective films in 1978, only to be bested by Jane Fonda for coming home. Interiors may not have garnered the immediate attention and accolades of some of Woody Allen's other works, but its departure from his comedic wheelhouse and the influences behind its creation make it a significant piece of cinematic history. Intriguingly, it remains a lesser-known gem in the Woody Allen filmography, often overshadowed by his more comedic endeavors. Nevertheless, Interiors stands as a testament to Allen's versatility as a filmmaker and his willingness to explore the depths of human emotion on screen. Green. In 1978, Woody Allen delivered a cinematic departure from his trademark comedic style with his film Interiors. Drawing inspiration from the works of Swedish drama director Ingmar Bergman, American theater writer Eugene O'Neill, and Russian writer Anton Chekhov, 
Alan crafted a poignant exploration of familial dysfunction and emotional intricacies. One notable aspect of interiors is its visual motif centered around windows. Originally slated to be titled Windows, the film's thematic focus on the transparency and fragility of human relationships found a more resonant expression in the title Interiors. This change, suggested by Diane Keaton, was endorsed by Alan himself, believing it better encapsulated the film's core themes. Notably, interiors marked the final film for Joel Schumacher as a costume designer before transitioning to a successful career as a director. Schumacher's contribution to the film's visual aesthetics, particularly in capturing the stark, emotionally charged interiors, underscored his talent in shaping cinematic atmospheres. Interiors remains a testament to Woody Allen's versatility as a filmmaker, showcasing his ability to delve into the depths of human psychology and relationships. It stands as a departure from his usual comedic fare, proving his capacity to explore profound and dramatic themes on the silver screen. In 1978, Woody Allen's interiors invited audiences to peer through the windows of the human soul, revealing the intricate complexities that lie within. Influenced by the greats of theater and cinema, it remains a thought-provoking exploration of family, emotions, and the intricacies of the human experience. In the realm of Woody Allen's cinematic repertoire, the 1978 film Interiors stands out as a distinctive departure from his signature comedic works. This introspective drama, which was released at a pivotal point in Allen's career, elicited a complex array of emotions from both the filmmaker and his audience. Shortly after the release of Annie Hall in 1977, which garnered critical acclaim and an Academy Award for Best Picture. Woody Allen was given a carte blanche by United Artists executives, allowing him to pursue his creative visions without constraints. It was during this period of newfound creative freedom that Allen ventured into the uncharted waters of serious drama, giving birth to interiors. This film, a stark departure from his usual comedic fare, drew inspiration from the works of the legendary Swedish filmmaker Ingmar Bergman. It delved into the intricacies of family relationships and the human psyche, carrying a somber tone throughout. Editor Ralph Rosenblum in Eric Lack's biography Woody Allen, a biography, remarked that even before embarking on interiors, Allen harbored a Bergmanesque inclination. He aspired to craft movies that would surprise audiences by pulling the proverbial rug from under them, often with unexpected and thought-provoking conclusions. During the making of Interiors, Woody Allen faced an internal struggle. He was reportedly anxious and apprehensive about the film's reception, fearing that he had created a bomb. This anxiety translated into a tense and testy atmosphere on set. Yet, through his dedication and relentless effort, he managed to rescue the project, infusing it with his own unique style and vision. The film's release marked a turning point in Allen's career, prompting him to reflect. I always wanted to see if I had any flair for serious drama. Finally, I had the nerve to try. Despite his initial trepidation, Interiors received mixed reviews, but it also garnered praise for its courage and the audacity of Allen's artistic exploration. In retrospect, Interiors serves as a testament to Woody Allen's determination to be remembered as a serious filmmaker and writer not confined to the comedy genre. It exemplifies his willingness to take risks and venture into uncharted territory, even when faced with uncertainty. As editor Ralph Rosenblum noted, he managed to pull it out with his own work. Ultimately, Woody Allen's foray into the realm of serious drama with interiors marked a significant chapter in his enduring cinematic legacy. This article was, 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 was. In 1978, Woody Allen's film Interiors graced the silver screen leaving an indelible mark on cinematic history. Inspired by the profound works of Anton Chekhov, this cinematic masterpiece revolved around the complex dynamics of a family with three sisters at its core. The film's influence transcended the realm of cinema, resonating within the music world. Manchester Orchestra's haunting track, Alice and Interiors, featured on their album in Like a Virgin Losing a Child drew inspiration from the film's somber themes. Likewise, Death Cab for Cutie's Death of an Interior Decorator was a lyrical ode to the storyline woven within interiors. One distinctive feature of the film was its minimalist approach to the soundtrack. Interiors notably eschewed a traditional musical score, opting instead for brief excerpts of background music. 
This unique choice allowed the film's emotional intensity and character-driven narrative to take center stage, underscoring the family's internal struggles and interpersonal complexities. Interiors remains a compelling cinematic experience, both for its exploration of familial relationships and its enduring influence on the arts. Its legacy endures in the realms of film and music, a testament to Woody Allen's storytelling prowess and the enduring power of Chekhovian themes on the silver screen. As we bid adieu to this cinematic journey through the introspective landscapes of interiors, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on your personal connection to this 1978 masterpiece. This film, born from the depths of Woody Allen's creative genius, delves into the intricate tapestry of human emotions, familial bonds, and the ever-evolving landscape of relationships. Perhaps you found yourself drawn to the stoic elegance of Eve's character, played with astounding grace by Geraldine Page. Or maybe Diane Keaton's portrayal of Renata resonated deeply with you, as she navigated the delicate balance between artistic ambition and personal fulfillment. And then there's Maureen Stapleton's Pearl, a character that embodies the unpredictability of life, adding an authentic touch to the film's emotional depth. Interiors is a canvas of emotions, a reflection of our own complexities, and a mirror to the intricacies of human connections. Whether you watched it years ago or have recently stumbled upon this cinematic gem, your thoughts and memories are a valuable part of its enduring legacy. I encourage you to share your favorite memories, poignant moments, or personal insights that Interiors has stirred within you. Let's celebrate this film's ability to provoke introspection and evoke emotions. Your words can spark conversations and forge connections with fellow enthusiasts, making this shared experience all the more profound. Thank you for your time and for sharing in the appreciation of interiors. Your unique perspective enriches the tapestry of cinematic discourse. Until our next cinematic rendezvous, keep exploring the world of film and storytelling. Warm regards.